So this is my first experiment into working with glass and inclusions. What we have up here is fine copper wire, copper mesh, aluminium off a Pepsi Max can. We've got some brass filings there. This is dried lavender. These ones are circles of craft foil. Two non-ferrous copper coins. These are fine copper discs using a little cutter to cut them out. We have some stainless steel wire there. This is copper carbonate powder. Some sterling silver heart charms. And finally, a little painted wooden owl. So, let's close the lid. See what happens. Now for the big reveal. Let's see what we've got. Well, not sure the float glass was the way to go. It just seems to have trapped lots of air. Very interesting, look. That's a silver, got a nice yellow. Hmm. Okay, didn't quite expect that. Expected them all to be black and burnt. So that's a plus in one way, but I think I need to try it with a different glass. So I'm going to show these off one by one, just so you can see them clearly. This one is the copper mesh. Got a few air bubbles going on there, but it's kept a nice bright red colour. This is the brass filings, big air bubble. This is float glass, by the way. I expected something a bit better than that. There you go. This is copper carbonate and obviously I've used way too much because what I wanted and what I've seen other people get is a range of bright blue bubbles and it's just not very nice at all but worth a test. This is the copper discs, it's cut from fine copper sheet, nice bright red colour, there's a little bit of discoloration there, a few air bubbles, interesting though. And this one is, I've got to be careful with this one, this is the copper coins and this has cracked to the point that you could actually probably smash that out. That's because the coins were a bit thick really for the glass. Kept a nice colour on the back but quite dangerous that bit I would think. This one's interesting, this is the owl, the little wooden owl and if you have a good look you can see the two buttonholes there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Little two buttonholes. So yeah and then that ash is like just what it was yeah moving about in that big air bubble. So a nice impression there. Next one is a disc of aluminium from a, a Pepsi Max can. So this was the actual Pepsi Max logo. I mean, to be fair, I thought it would disappear a bit more than that with it being aluminium. So I'm quite impressed that it's still there. I like this one. This is sterling silver chain. So that's 0.925 silver. And look at that lovely halo, yellow halo around them. And what's quite surprising is that they've kept um, the text. And in case you're wondering, bead buddies used to be a forum that I ran when I had a bead shop and on the back can you see what's on the back? Barbara and I made the odd bit of jewellery for Barbara Windsor and they were the charms that I would put on them so that's my claim to fame for that anyway this one is craft foil it's just little bits of foil that's usually in kids crafts and strangely the one in this corner here totally burnt away and dis disappeared completely whereas those ones kind of stayed put 
left so obviously the way that the air burnt around them and this one again a really interesting one is chain and i think it's stainless steel it looks like a little yellowish hue but actually it's pink and that chain stayed in there beautifully actually quite a big air bubble but it looks really good and there you go that was oh look it's moving about that's cool um, that's the result of my fusing inclusion experiment hope you found this useful and it'll lead you on to have a go yourself bye for now